Hi everyone, I wanted to rush this video out, uh, show you how I made my uh, uh, coronavirus mask. Um, give you ideas on how you can make the same thing. Um, I believe, you know, it provides me full protection. Uh, I have to dis do the disclaimer here, I'm not an expert, so um, take whatever I say with a grain of salt. And, uh, you've seen these, uh, scuba masks in the, uh, sporting goods section at, uh, your local retail stores. And this little scuba thing normally goes right there. And when you go underwater, the little floats come up and, um, seal it up so you don't inhale a bunch of water. <laughs> and... This part of the mask is designed to allow you to exhale, but it doesn't allow any air back in. Um, the mask is also separates the eyes from the nose area, so when you're breathing, you're not going to fog up your, uh, your vision. You'll be able to see perfectly fine. Um, the way I made this is I went to the store and I bought me one of those furnace filters that uh, is rated to screen out viruses. I tore it apart and got the material out of it. Okay. So I took the snorkel off of my mask and in its place I stretched some material over the uh, place where it goes and then I put all these rubber bands first I taped it up real good with uh, electrical tape and I put all these rubber bands around it and I'll show you why I did that here this is just the cap off of a regular deodorant um, dispenser that you buy and all I did was Drill, as you can see, a bunch of holes in it. So, you got this filter here that totally seals up. These rubber bands are designed so that when this next piece of material sits in there, down in there, this makes a snug fit as it fits over where the snorkel used to be and now what you've got is a double barrier of, of protection now you might say well why don't you just put two pieces of cloth directly over it well i tried that the problem is that because they're so close together it makes it difficult to breathe by spreading them apart a little bit making this area with holes you can breathe just fine so you've got that first layer of protection and then inside there second layer of protection and when you get home all you have to do is pop this off pull that out you can throw it away sanitize everything down cut you out a new piece stick it back in there pop it back on and you're all set up to go again and if you want to do a deep clean, you pull the whole thing apart and put two pieces on. But the good thing about this mask is it protects your eyes. You're not going to get any virus particles in your eyes. It protects It seals totally against your face. You're not going to breathe in anything. Um, just logic tells you, you know, like I said, I'm no expert. I'm not sure exactly how well this material sc uh, screens for viruses, but it's rated to screen for viruses. And I figure two layers of it should do a pretty good job. Now, I realize a lot of people aren't going to want to walk around looking like Darth Vader, but, you know, at this point, people dying... 
and myself. I happen to be the uh, primary caregiver for my mother, who is uh, pushing 88 years old, and I cannot afford to bring this stuff home and make her sick. Um, if that happened, I would probably, uh, you know, God forbid, lose my mother. And so I'm trying to do the best I can, and I hope that gave you guys some ideas how you can protect yourself. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day in Jesus.